Hey everyone, this is Ashton again with Muse Themes. Today I have a new widget to show you. It's something very unique and specific, but it's also very cool and something especially useful for those of you that manage several client sites at one time. Here we have our dynamic copyright widget. This is a widget that enables a copyright tag to your website and will automatically update the copyright year for you as time goes on without you ever having to open Muse. So this is perfect for those of you that manage dozens of sites and keeps you from having to open dozens of Muse project files year after year just to update the year of your copyright. This is one of our simplest widgets to set up. It literally can be incorporated in less than a minute. So without further ado, let me jump into Muse and I'll show you some of the features. Right now I have our new bells theme open because I wanted to show you this widget within the context of a pre-existing site. So I'm gonna jump into the home master page since in most cases you're probably gonna be applying this widget to some kind of master page on your site. If I scroll down to the footer, right now you can see that we have just a generic text box with the copyright information simply typed in. And here's a perfect example, it's already out of date. <laughs> so I'm gonna go right up to my library and I'll drag out the dynamic copyright widget. And right away you see we get this preview text generated and the widget will literally already function in the browser. But first let me get this placed. I'm gonna go ahead and delete the current text box that's already here on the bottom of the page. And then I'll select our widget. I'll make sure to check this footer box up here on the top so that we can utilize this as a footer element. And I'll simply drag this down in its place. Perfect. Now let's jump into the settings panel. Inside here, we're mostly dealing with a variety of checkbox enablers. The first one here being the copyright text, which you can see if I deselect it, the widget will automatically regenerate the proper preview. So I'll go ahead and leave that enabled, and you can customize the actual text here in this field. Same goes for the copyright symbol. Enable start year. Right now you can see the widget is giving a range of years, so if you decide to keep that, you can specify the start year here, or simply deselect it if you just want the current year displayed. Enable owner and owner URL. These give you the option to add the copyright holder name, in this case we have Muse Themes, and the URL allows you to hyperlink to that owner's platform, whatever that may be. These fields here, you specify the owner's name, here the destination URL, and the option to hyperlink in the same browser tab or a new one. And lastly here, you have the hyperlink text color as well as the rollover color for the link. I can go ahead and leave all this intact and if I already preview my site in a browser, and we scroll down to our footer, and you can see our copyright is displayed with the current year, and our hyperlink functions with just one simple click. The last thing I want to cover really quick is the text styling. Now the default styling of the text didn't quite match the text that was previously there for our bells theme. So if I jump back into Muse, the text in this widget is completely customizable with your normal Muse text controls. So with the widget selected, I'll go ahead to my text styling panel. Our font used before was Open Sans Semibold, and we were working with a gray instead of that solid black. And just like that, you can see the widget regenerates its preview. And I can preview the site once again in a browser. And there you go. All of our changes are reflected. So we hope you guys enjoy this. It's a very useful little utility for just about any website. And we think those of you with larger client bases will especially appreciate it. So thanks again for watching. And let us know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Cheers.